Kao Khan had regained his strength, and he and Goro marched boldly to the Dragon King's throne room, slaying all who stood in their way. Like an echo of their battle ages ago, Shao Kahn and Onaga fought with a fury fueled by intense hatred. Knowing the Dragon King was too powerful to defeat in mere combat, Shao Kahn blasted Onaga with his war hammer, causing him to hurtle into Goro's poisoned blades. Onaga had fallen victim to Shao Kahn's treachery once more. With Onaga defeated, Shao Kahn reclaimed Outworld once again. His army of Shokan decimated what remained of Kitana's armies and the Tarkatan horde and scattered their survivors into the unknown. A new era had begun in the realm of Outworld. Long live Emperor Shao Kahn. The Dragon King watched from beyond death as events unfold. Shang Tsung, I will win the Mortal Kombat Tournament and free Earthrealm from your tyranny. Is that so? Then it seems I will need a stronger opponent to defeat the great Kung Lao. Goro, fight! <laughs> Shujinko, but I cannot let you pass these gates. Why not? The walls of this town are here for a reason. To protect the citizens from foreign dangers. You are too young and inexperienced to venture outside. Return when you can prove to me that you have learned enough and I may let you pass. Yes, Master Boraicho. I will continue my training. Elder gods. Yes. They are the power that makes this world possible, as well as many others. I have come to you on their behalf because they need your help. What kind of help do gods need? The Elder Gods are in need of a champion. One who could complete a quest to save the realms. Shujiko, will you accept this quest to save all that exists? You will be a true hero. What if I refuse? Then I will find another. One of your friends, perhaps. The one who pretends to be Shang Tsung. No, not him. I will be your champion. What must I do? You must traverse the realms in search of items of great importance. But Master Boraicho will not let me outside the walls of the town. Not to worry, Shijinko. I will bestow upon you a great power. The ability to absorb the fighting skills from any fighter you encounter. This will give you the edge you will need on your quest. Go now, return to Master Boraicho, and show him you are an experienced fighter. I will, Damashi. Thank you. I will not let the Elder Gods down. Back so soon? I thought you had returned to the school. I am ready to prove that my combat skills are good enough. Oh, very well, Shinjinko. Show me. Shujiko, 
I see you have passed your test. Yes, Damashi. The power you gave me to copy other warriors worked well. I really felt as if I could fight like Master Bull Raicho. He was so impressed that he offered to train me personally. Excellent. There is much you can learn from him. But first, you should begin your quest. You must find six items of great importance. The Kamidoku. Think of them as tools of the gods. You are there is an enemy doom that threatens to survive all the realm. The Dragon King. With you these tools, the elder gods will vanquish this menace. Where do I find these? Kamidogu. They have been scattered throughout reality. Each one lies hidden in a different realm. The elder gods are unable to retrieve these items themselves, and therefore must elect a champion born within the realms to collect them. They have constructed portals and the Nexus to aid their champion in his quest. What is the Nexus? Where do I find it? Once you have found the first Kamido, I will show you what to do. Until then, good luck with your search. Thank you, Domashi. I am afraid not, Damashi. But I have learned Master Boraicho's fighting styles, and I have recovered his lost warrior's medallion. I was on my way to return it to him. I see. That is quite an impressive artifact. I suggest you keep the medallion for yourself. Do not return it to Boraicho just yet. Such an item will give you credibility among master warriors. I will do as you ask. Good. Very good. I must leave you now, but you will see me again. Good luck on your journey. Shujiko. Damashi, I have joined the Lin Kuei. I have learned Sub-Zero's fo- That object you carry. Yes, it is as I suspected. Through the ignorance of the Lin Kuei, you have acquired the Earthrealm Kamidoru. I have? You must find the portal to the Nexus. When it opens, walk through to continue your quest. But the Lin Kuei- must I remind you that your loyalties are to the Elder Gods, not to the Lin Kuei. Continue with your appointed quest. Yes, Damashi. I understand. Shujiko, raise high the Kamidogu. Enter the portal. Damashi! 
Damashi, where are you? Who dare summon me to this... Oh, Sh Shujiko. It has been many years since last we met. Why have I not seen you in so long a time? I take precautions to avoid this place. It drains me. If my avatar were to stay here for too long, or descend too far into the lower plains, I could be trapped here forever. Your avatar? I do not understand. I am without a physical body and am only able to appear to you by extending my spirit into the realms. It is my hope that I will one day return to the physical world. Until then, I must guide you as a simple apparition. And how goes your search? I have found the Nether Realm Kamidogu. So it seems. Well done, Shichiko. Return to the Nexus and place the Kamidogu on the altar. I found it in a labyrinth not far from here, but I feel strange. I feel like I have changed. Indeed, you have. Many years have passed since you first entered this realm. I suspect the labyrinth you encountered contains some time-altering agent. Time has passed, but you have not perceived it. Many years? By the gods. I do feel older. It must have been that strange liquid I stepped through. That is a distinct possibility. It matters not. You should return to the Nexus and place it on the altar. You have done well, Shujiko. The Elder Gods will be pleased. to the Satan Guardsmen as payment for their assistance in defending against the Tarkatan hordes. It belongs to the Elder Gods and must be returned to them. 
You will place it on the altar with the others. But I have given my word that I would bring back help from the realm of order. How will I broker a deal with them if I cannot offer the Kamidogu? The point is moot. You cannot enter the realm of order without placing this Kamidogu on the altar. If indeed you wish to aid the overlord, I suggest you offer the command of the city to the Satan militia. Their principal philosophy is one of order and control. They will have little interest in defending a city unless they occupy it. Furthermore, they will not resist the chance to thwart Shao Kahn. But the Overlord did not give me the authority to... What he wants is of no concern to us. The Kamidou is not his to use at a bar age. For over a deal with the same if you feel so compelled, but do not lose sight of your primary objective. Return the Outworld Kamidou to its rightful place in the Nexus, and continue with your quest. I will do as you ask, Dimash. How am I to abide by their laws if I do not know them? This civilization has been built upon the concept of structure and organization. Deviation from this ideal is not tolerated. I cannot stress enough that you must avoid any entanglements in their legal system. I believe the likelihood of that happening is small, but I will heed your warning, Dimash. Shujiko, I bring the tidings. What do you mean, Damashi? You have sacrificed much in your service to the Elder Gods these long years. Therefore, they are granting you that which you have desired since your childhood, a chance to compete in the Mortal Kombat tournament in Earthrealm and defeat the Sorcerer Shang Tsung. I do not know what to say. How did they know of my dreams of defeating Shang Tsung? Long ago, I watched you from afar as you played with childhood friends. It was quite clear that you worshipped the warrior Kun Lao. But unlike your hero, you will be more than a match for Shang Tsung. You have absorbed the fighting styles of many great warriors. Now is your chance to fulfill your dream. Thank you, Damashi. I will return to Earthrealm at once. sense that some change has taken place. You are different in some way. I have undergone a spiritual cleansing. The warrior Nightwolf had detected an evil stain upon my soul. He was unable to remove it completely, but he has given me the ability to suppress it. This is an unfortunate turn of events. Unfortunate? An evil stain has been cleansed from my soul. My sense of awareness is as heightened as it was when Master Bo Raicho trained me. The taint you refer to allows you to enter realms otherwise inaccessible to other beings. You will need to regain it in order to continue your quest. I suggest that you return to the nether realm. It will restore the impurities needed to enter the more accursed realms. Once your quest is finished, you are free to cleanse your spirit once more. I cannot believe that you would ask such a thing of me. Surely the contamination I am already forced to carry is enough to access... Do not question my order, Shujiko. I never promised your quest would be pleasant. You must fulfill your obligation to the Elder Gods. Return to the Nether Realm. Have you forgotten the Mortal Kombat tournament? I was on my way to Shang Tsung's island to compete. I understand your disappointment, but your dream of defeating Shang Tsung will have to wait. For now, you must fulfill your destiny. I... I will do as you ask. Shujiko, I sense you have regained enough of the essence of this realm to continue your quest. I encountered a ninja specter named Scorpion from whom I absorbed much rage. Well done. You may leave the nether realm. Thank you, Damashi. I do not wish to remain another moment longer. Greetings, champion. I have need of your assistance. Raiden, whatever I can do to help you, do not hesitate to ask. My time in the nether realm is concluded. Shang Tsung is allied with another sorcerer, 
Quan Chi, who has escaped from the Netherrealm. Escaped? I had just seen him there. Quan Chi possesses an item created by the Elder Gods, an amulet that acts like a key. He understands only a fraction of its potential, but enough to use it to escape from hell. Is it a Kamidogu? It is not a Kamidogu, but it is connected to them by its function. I am surprised that you would not know of it. Nevertheless, I am preparing an assault on the two sorcerers in Outworld. Though they have already killed Earthrealm's greatest hero, Liu Kang, I am gathering together the few warriors I feel I can trust to attack this deadly alliance at their stronghold. Can I count on you to help? I will go to Outworld to assist you any way I can. Excellent. It will be good to have a champion of the Elder Gods on our side. Hotaru! It is good to see! You have violated my ordinance. You were to go indoors when the toll sounded. Ordinance? I just recently arrived. I had no knowledge of any ordinance. Ignorance is not an excuse. I am placing you under arrest for disregarding the laws of this city. Your trial will take place in the realm of order. were the guards I was sent to dispose of? Fah! Surely you could have slain them yourself. Why have you killed them? Who are you? I am Dairu. An associate of yours was concerned that certain obligations you have to him are not being met. I was contracted to remove any obstacles you might be facing. Tamashi, I cannot believe that he would instruct you to kill these men in order to free me. Not instructed, paid. Mercenaries do not work for free. This Damashi offered me generous compensation to free you. Do not be so sure of your chances with the judge. I was once a soldier among their ranks until I was unjustly imprisoned. You would have been incarcerated for decades for this seemingly minor charge, I assure you. I cannot say that I approve of your actions, but I suppose a certain amount of gratitude is in order, Dairu. There is one other matter. I am to give you this key to the courtroom door. I took it from one of the guards. I will leave you now, but if you ever have need of my services, search for me in the realm of order. Just remember to bring plenty of coins. Kirichiro, you have the order of coming door, I see. With the help of your assassin, yes. I do not understand how you could condone such an action. Are these the methods of the Elder Gods? I am not an elder god. Beware of me to be your god in the Dragon King. In any event, do not presume to judge my methods. You yourself have done many dishonorable things during your lifelong journey. To answer your question, however, the elder gods would not have objected to the methods applied. I may have done questionable things during my service to the elder gods, but I have also grown much since my quest began. I cannot believe the Elder Gods would not take exception to such brutal tactics. The Elder Gods do not directly interfere with the realms, nor do they judge the events that occur therein. Their duty is merely to assure that the realms exist. And my quest plays some part in their duty? I will not explain further. All will be revealed in time. Take the Kamidobu to the Nexus and continue your search. Yes, Dimashi. I will do as you ask. But I cannot help but feel disenchanted with the quest. Chujiko, you have but one coming to left to find before your task is complete. It lies hidden in this realm. The realm of the Dinya. But beware. I sense there is another force at work. Someone else may be out of the Kamido. Someone else? For what purpose? You have never fully revealed to me the true significance of the Kamido. After all these years of searching, I feel I am owed an explanation. Uh, if it will serve to emphasize the importance of your quest, 
I will tell you what I can. The Kami Toru made possible the creation of reality. The Elder Gods used them to split the consciousness of the One Minion into what we know as the Rounds. I do not understand. What is this One Being? Before the creation of the Rounds, there were only the Elder Gods and the One Being. The One Being fed off the Elder Gods and consumed them. War raged in the timeless void until six Elder Gods forged the Kamido and used them to splinter the one being into the many realms. I am humbled by the scope of what you have revealed to me. Still, I am left to wonder why the Elder Gods have needed my assistance. As you know, you were called by the Elder Gods to retrieve the Kamido and deliver them into safekeeping. What you do not know is that the Elder Gods have detected a plot whereby an individual sought to exploit the Kamido and merged all the realms in an attempt to gain ultimate dragon king will rule so that individual may be here in Edenia. He must not be allowed to find the Kamido. It would seem that the Kamido are quite powerful, dangerous weapons in the wrong hands. I thank you for being forthright with me, Damashi. I have no doubt that you will succeed, Shichiko. You have served the Elder Gods well. Shujiko, I see you have found the last of the Kamidoru. Yes, Damashi. I was on my way to the Nexus to place it upon the altar. Because you have recovered all the Kamidoru, I will receive a physical body and will be free to dwell in the physical world. My rebirth is to take place soon in our world. That is wonderful news. Congratulations, Damashi. Her, take the Adinian Kamidoru to the Nexus. I will meet you there. It will be good to finally bring this quest to an end. Despite the strong sulfurous stench that filled the chamber, Reptile could smell that Natara and Cyrax had been there recently. There was no sign of them now, except for some scattered glass shards and a residual trace of strong magical energies. His revenge would have to wait. Suddenly, an expected hush filled the chamber as energy cascaded around what appeared to be a dragon embryo. The tiny dragon stretched and the egg cracked. A beam of energy ripped out from inside and lanced into Reptile. His world was filled with a roaring power as his squamous body was twisted and transformed. The ancient prophecy had been fulfilled. The Dragon King had returned. Having been enslaved through sorcery to guard the Molten Incubation Chamber, Blaze was finally freed once the Dragon Egg had hatched. He then resumed the quest he had undertaken before being subdued by his captors.
deceived you into bringing me the means of attaining ultimate mastery over reality. So it seems that I have indeed known you all these years. Then by what name shall I call you now? Tell me who you really are, demon. I am Onaga, the Dragon King of Outworld and soon to be ruler of all that exists. I must thank you for giving me so much power. The Kanidori are mine. <laughs> you may have them. They do nothing. You have wasted your time. Nothing happened when I placed them all on the altar. Not all. If you had found the last piece, the altar would have transported them to the Elder Gods. But the last piece is currently in Outworld in the possession of a fool sorcerer. I will deal with him later. For now, I will take these artifacts you have so dutifully collected for me. I am afraid they will not make it into the hands of the Elder Gods after all. And so, Shujinko, your quest is done. chance that this struggle came to be. The blame falls squarely upon my shoulders for giving evil the chance it needed, and therefore fulfilling an ancient prophecy. Raiden's Earthrealm champions had failed to stop the deadly alliance from fully resurrecting the mummified army of the Dragon King. In the end, only Raiden himself stood between Earthrealm and total destruction. Defying the Elder God's wishes, he alone challenged Quan Chi and Shang Tsung in mortal combat, Earthrealm's last hope for freedom. fought well against the two sorcerers, and it seemed as though victory was at hand. But the combined might of Quan Chi and Shang Tsung proved to be overwhelming, even for a Thunder God. Raiden was defeated. The Deadly Alliance had won. Their victory was short-lived. As suspicion and lust for power overcame both Quan Chi and Shang Tsung, the former allies turned on each other. The deadly alliance was no more. She defeated Shang Tsung and reveled in his conquest. But it is said that there is only one true ruler of Outworld. And that ruler had returned. Naga, 
former Emperor of Outworld, the Dragon King. The prophecy had been fulfilled. The Dragon King had indeed returned to Outworld to reclaim his army and impose his dominance. Death awaited all who stood in his way. was formed out of desperation. Sworn enemies joined forces to combat a greater threat. Raiden began to realize that even their combined might was not enough to defeat the Dragon King. There's only one chance left. Raiden's sacrifice was in vain. For the blast had little effect on the Dragon King. Now Onaga has what he needs to shape the realms as he sees fit. I was the fool who brought him this power. Only I can destroy this threat, born of deception. On his way to the rendezvous point with Raiden and the others, Sub-Zero was ambushed by a band of Tarkatan warriors in the Living Forest. He tried to outrun them, but there were too many. He was quickly surrounded. Sub-Zero decided that his last living deed would be to vanquish as many of these barbarians as he could before he succumbed to death. As Sub-Zero began his attack, he felt his armor speak to him. It guided and strengthened each blow as he broke their limbs and crushed their skulls. At his feet, a dying Tarkatan warrior uttered the words, Long live the Dragon King. In an outer chamber of the Dragon King's throne room, Ermac did battle with Liu Kang's enslaved comrades. Ermac was more than a match for the five warriors, but their defeat was not his objective. Liu Kang materialized and one by one freed their souls while Ermac occupied the rest. Eventually, all five were awakened from their enchantment and freed from Onaga's control. Ermac was pleased that his warrior's skills could for once bring about a noble outcome. He sensed, however, that an ominous force still shaped the destiny of the realms. It was everywhere. He could feel its influence on Onaga, though the Dragon King was oblivious to its manipulation. Time was running out. Ermac feared the celebration of this latest victory would be short-lived. Although Onaga had returned from the dead, he did not re-inhabit his original body. Sindel and Jade found his sarcophagus opened. His body remained, but the armor was missing. Strangely, the hieroglyphics in his tomb were similar to an ancient Edenian language. She discovered an incantation, inscribed by Onaga's holy men, that was intended to transport his soul back into its original body. In the wilds of Outworld, Hotaru captured the renegade Earthrealm warrior Sub-Zero and brought him before the Dragon King. Onaga's judgment of Sub-Zero was swift, and Hotaru was given the task of carrying out his punishment. Death. His fate served as a reminder to all who would challenge the authority of the Dragon King. In Edenia, Tanya had located the ancient texts that described the process by which to fuse the Kamidogu into one. With this information, Onaga was able to create the One Kamidogu, a tool of unspeakable power. An alliance had been formed of warriors from vastly different origins, but with a similar goal, to defeat Onaga. Li Mei marched uneasily into battle against the Dragon King. 
The closer she got to him, the more she came to understand which side was truly deserving of victory. Li Mei turned on her former allies and gave her emperor the time he needed to finish merging the Kami Dogu. The Dragon King was now all-powerful. He had the means to control the universe, to make and unmake as he saw fit. Li Mei watched in delight as the Elder Gods fled before his might. Onaga then transformed her into his queen, to be forever at his side. He had given her power beyond anything she ever imagined. Together, they will rule the One Realm and slay the last of the Elder Gods. My enemies have failed to prevent me from fusing all the weapons of the Elder Gods into one. I used this ultimate weapon to warp reality, merging the realms into a singular existence. The Elder Gods were helpless as I used their own power against them in the void beyond the One Realm. Not satisfied with merely ruling the One Realm, I seized all that exists and merged it into myself. There can be only one consciousness. I am everything. I have become the One Being. So that I would be able to defend myself during the quest to find the Kami Dogu, Onaga had given me the power to absorb the fighting ability of any warrior I encountered, but his gift would prove to be his undoing. The warriors in Outworld were in disarray, heroes were not focused on the true threat of Onaga, and villains were unaware that they were bringing about their own destruction by serving him. I united them and in one moment absorbed their combined fighting power. I shattered each of the Kami Dogu, the source of his invulnerability. This weakened Onaga and I attacked him without mercy. His mortal form was no match for a combatant infused with the powers of so many warriors. The Dragon King was finally defeated. The realms will remain as they have since the beginning. The others had defeated the Dragon King, but left his broken body unattended on the floor of his throne room. Not long ago, a similar fate had befallen his former advisor, Shao Kahn. Havoc ripped the still warm heart from the carcass and consumed it, thus absorbing Onaga's power to reanimate the dead. Had the Dragon King succeeded in his plans for total domination, the never-ending turmoil of life would have come to a stifling halt. Those who defeated him believed that the realms were at rest once more, but Havoc vowed to restore the chaos that once ravaged Outworld. Shao Kahn would rule again. Nightwolf had traversed realms and fought many demons to get to this place deep within the Netherrealm. 
Using knowledge passed to him from his forefathers, he drew a binding symbol on the ground and chanted the ancient words that would draw the spirit of the Dragon King to this wicked place. Nightwolf had carried the burden long enough. He released the sins of his people into the mystic symbol, and their weight bound Onaga to the Netherrealm. Free of the corruption he had harbored for so long, Nightwolf was expelled from the depths of the Netherrealm and into the unknown. Stranger, the key you found, it will unlock my cell door. Please free me. How do I know you won't attack me? You have only my word. I am not here to do battle with you. My task is to eliminate Shao Kahn. <laughs> Alone? This I must see. I thank you, stranger. I am Shuchinko. I am Taven. You plan to defeat Shao Kahn? Whole realms have tried to overthrow him. Not only will I defeat him, but a host of his allies. They are in his chamber now, plotting some coming battle. I allowed myself to be captured. From this dungeon, I can enter Shao Kahn's soul chamber. Once there, I will be able to destroy Shao Kahn and all his allies in one stroke. I suggest you leave quickly, Taven, for I cannot guarantee your safety. My safety? I just defeated this entire... Foolish old man. And that is why we must put our differences aside and join forces. Why should we believe you, Quan Chi? Why should we trust you? I will not join an alliance of traitors! Shang Tsung, Shao Kahn, Onaga, my comrades. We are all treacherous by nature, and betrayal is to be expected. But if we do not stand together, at least initially, it could mean the end of darkness. I stand with no one. I will claim the prize and with it destroy you all. Onaga. Emperor Onaga. Not anymore. You haven't been listening to what Quan Chi has told us. The forces of light also seek to acquire this power. You cannot defeat them alone. Only if we join forces does one of us have a chance of winning the prize. But which one of us? If Onaga is the victor, he could use that power to overthrow you. I'll take that chance. Hmm. What of the brothers? What can be done about them? I have trapped one of them in Earthrealm. The other is in Edenia. We must go there now. Our allies are waiting. To war! Do not go through that portal. Raiden, you look different. But I'm glad you're here. I need your help. Shao Kahn and his allies are planning something. It is none of my concern. I don't understand. You've always fought against Shao Kahn's forces. Now he's planning another battle and you won't lift a finger? We must not stand idly by. We must stop this- No, Taven. I have struck a deal with the Emperor. Shao Kahn will honor Earthrealm's independence when his forces have won. When he's won? What are you saying? Why would that lunatic spare Earthrealm? Because in return, I will prevent you from completing your quest. I cannot believe that Raiden would side with the enemy. Since this quest began, nothing has made sense. My entire life has been turned upside down. I want to abandon the quest, but if I do, Dagon will win, and he has become far too corrupt to replace father as protector. 
At this moment, the forces of darkness are invading Edenia. There must be something I can do to stop them. There have been many powerful warriors throughout the millennia. But ages of mortal combat have begun to tear the fabric of the realms. The critical point has finally been reached. It was foreseen that combatants would one day grow too powerful and too numerous. If left unchecked, their intensifying combat would weaken and shatter the realms and bring about the apocalypse. The gods demanded a safeguard be put in place to avoid total destruction. One that would make use of the combatants' insatiable bloodlust. Like moths to flame, they would be drawn to battle. Ages long quest to monitor the realms, Blaze had been enslaved by Onaga's holy men and forced to guard the great dragon egg. The spell used to control him corrupted his original design. When his final objective atop the pyramid came to pass, he was unstoppable and defeated all who challenged him. 
As foreseen by the sorceress Delia, Armageddon began in the Adenian Crater and spread throughout the realms, shattering reality until there was nothing. Forces of darkness defeated Blaze, and the Dragon King seized the prize for himself, attaining ultimate power. He immediately focused his wrath upon the one being he despised most, Shao Kahn. Long ago, Shao Kahn had stolen Outworld from him. Now, Onaga would repay that treachery. Shao Kahn was beaten to the point of death, but Onaga would not see him die so quickly. He ordered Quan Chi and Shang Tsung to deal with the former emperor. While Onaga reclaimed his throne, Shao Kahn remained a captive in his own dungeon, tortured by those who had once pledged to him their allegiance. the Elder Gods, Raiden. <laughs> Their pathetic mortal combat shackles me no longer. Toothless worms. My venom spreads. It is the end of all things. Armageddon. Stop! It is done. Your time has passed. He must win.
Of course I defeated Kronika. And when I did, there was only one thing I wanted to do with the hourglass. Undo the defeat of my ancestor, the Great Kung Lao. In my timeline, the Great Kung Lao is the undisputed Mortal Kombat champion. Earthrealm never loses another tournament. For generations, his example inspires millions to join the White Lotus Society and defend Earthrealm. They, in turn, inspire rebels to overthrow Shao Kahn in Outworld. The realms make peace. Until, inevitably, a more powerful enemy comes along and finds Earthrealm backed by Kung Lao, immortal lord of time and warrior supreme. Beat that, Liu Kang.